right, let's switch to our regular foot now. We don't need the walking foot for the rest of this project. I switch back and forth every diaper, back and forth. All right. Stick our fabric in the machine here. I like to make sure that the fabric, that the seam is all the way to the outside edge. And I just sort of grab a hold of it with my fingertips and rub on it a little bit. So rub that out of there. Stick this in. I'm going to go to that second notch instead of the first one. Um, you'll want your elastic casing to be just slightly larger than your elastic. Um, that way it has enough elasticity. Um, if the casing is too small for your elastic to feed through, the elastic will actually fit in there because it'll just sort of roll in on itself on the sides, but it won't be uh, easily scrunched and unscrunched um, down the casing. So it'll be like... Um, putting on a pair of pants is too tight. You can fit your leg in it, but it doesn't slide easily. I backstitch at each end. Um, so the purpose to backstitching um, is to lock the threads. If you don't backstitch and then you pull against the two pieces of fabric, it may even come unsewn in a few stitches. And now I can pull against the fabric and it won't come unsewn because it's looped at each end. Rub these two together just a little bit, get that seam out of there. What are we doing here with this thread? Backstitch both ends. You'll see me hang on to my thread when I first start. That's because my machine is old. I don't think most of you will have to do that. But my machine tries to come unthreaded when I first start a run. Pretty much every time. So I always have to hang on to my thread. Backstitch, and I have one left. This is the one at the back of the diaper. Rub this back and forth until the seam comes all the way out. After a while, my hand starts to cramp from rubbing the fabric so hard. Too many days of sewing. By the way, I have just passed my halfway point because I have half of the fourth diaper done. I only need seven for this week, for this challenge. It doesn't need, it doesn't end the need uh, for my nephew, but it gets him seven more diapers than he had before, so. I'll be pleased. And so will his mom. All right, three elastic casings in. Let's grab our bodkin. And our elastic, of course. All right, so what you do for the elastic is you will stretch the elastic from one side to the other on your casing and give it just a little bit of excess just a little bit of room. So it the furthest it'll stretch is clear out to here. Can you see my marks? So it's like an inch past my marks on either side. Now we will grab a hold of the elastic with this bodkin, squeeze that down, 
move this ring until it's tight. And so now it has a hold of the elastic pretty hard. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up, up under the layer here. It's going to turn. It's going to have a hard time making this turn. Sorry about the camera here. Um, mostly because it's too long. And I'm going to pull it through. When the end of my elastic is about a quarter of an inch to the left of my mark, I'm going to go ahead and make uh, sew that down. And then I will continue stretching my elastic through. So let's see if I can make this bodkin make this turn. I used to actually have a hard time with the safety pin. So it's just that it's a newborn diaper. Newborn diapers are little bitty things. And they're hard to work with sometimes. I actually got it in there. The bodkin is in. Now, oh, my biggest fear with this is that my ring will come undone. But it seems like I'm I'm pulling the ring that way, if anything, which is tighter than... Oh, this is easy. Bodkin for the win. Man, basting spray and bodkins. I'm a winner now. Back and forth back and forth. That's all you need to hold the elastic down. All right. Wow. So much room with my bodkin here. This is amazing. All right. Now my only fear is that I won't be able to get it tight enough because there's not enough room for my bodkin. So I'm going to actually, I turned the bodkin. So now it's like this. I'm actually going to try to send the end of it out further. Make a seam here. Let's go ahead and sew it. I'm holding the bodkin over here with my finger. What I don't want to happen is my thread, my machine to come unthreaded. It does that. The most inconvenient times. Back and forth. Back and forth done. Now, something I didn't think about is how am I going to get my bodkin out? I think I can just release the ring. Oh, nice. Just pull that ring down. The bodkin is free. Except it's free of the elastic, but it's not free of the fabric. There we go. Yay! Fun. Let's do that again. I liked it. All right. For the two sides, we're going to cut two pieces exactly the same length. And I don't want to give too much excess this time because my bodkin's not going to fit in there very well. So I'm going to hold this edge, stretch it across, and I'm not going to give any excess. That's kind of it right there. Go ahead and stretch this piece so that the two have been equally stretched. And then with it completely slacked, I'm going to just measure and cut another piece the exact same length. I use cotton swimwear elastic. Um, it's just my favorite. I grew up in gymnastics, and so I wore leotards day in and day out for 15 years, 12, 12 years, and so I know what it's like to have elastic around your bum for days on end. Um, not the same piece of elastic, obviously, but anyway, um, I don't know, I just think that the cotton swimwear elastic is the most flexible, it's the softest, it's nice and, I don't know, bouncy for elastic. So that's what I use for my son's diapers, that's what I use for the diapers that I give away, just because I really like that elastic. 
and it is what my mom uses on all of her swimsuits and all of her husband's swimsuits my dad's swimsuits all right that looks good I can feel where the end of the elastic is and it's about right where my thumbnail is which is good I'm gonna sew on this line Good to go there. Now my bodkin, the end of it is here. The elastic is here. So I have a ways to go. Um, my bodkin is this long, but the space that I have to work with is only here. So it's it's barely going to make it out, I think. This might not be the most practical application for this bodkin, but it's a new toy and I wanted to use it. So I'm going to send it all the way up to the far corner of this diaper. Let's see if I can't get it to at least, okay, let's turn it. It is right here, so it's just barely past my line, my mark. I'm going to go ahead and sew that down. It moved, so let's try again. It looks like this in there. I'm just going to release that ring, which lets go of that. Nice and elastic. It looks like my elastic is tighter than I typically make it. And the reason I say that is because I usually like it so that I can stretch the fabric and the fabric is completely straight. As you can see, it's a little bit wrinkled still when I stretch the elastic all the way out, but it's too late now. I'm not going to redo it. Let's grab that next piece. where I should be putting it. I put it at about a quarter of an inch in. I didn't read the instructions on this thing. I just kind of understood how to use it. Stick that in there. So you do a scrunch, scrunch, pull. Um, there's really no difference here except between the bodkin and the safety pin, except that the bodkin is longer than a safety pin. The same theories apply. Done. Now, what do y'all think? Should I top stitch this? Can't decide. I'm trying to get my bodkin out right now, so. Oh, I don't have to turn it around. I can just release it, pull that ring back, which releases it from the elastic, and then pull it out of there go. 
so I didn't top stitch the blue minky and I really like the way that looks but if I top stitch this one it might give it that tuxedo effect although it might already looks like might already look like a tuxedo being black and white I think it is it's gonna have white snaps so it kind of looks something like that I think I'm not gonna top stitch it just because I think it's cute without and the top stitching because this fabric is fluffy top stitching probably won't show up very well anyway so I'm not going to do it. I like it just the way it is. Let's put those last snaps in, cut our threads, and call it done. And there you have it. Black crushed velvet diaper cover. Diaper number four in my seven diapers in seven days challenge. I'm more than halfway through. More than halfway done. Yay. Now I can go to bed. Good night.